Salutations, Winnie Mathematicians. Let's go over 6.1 section review homework, just two, three, and four, because those are the ones you probably need to see someone doing it because it's using a protractor and a ruler. And look at that, your protractor has a ruler on it. Again, using a pencil is important with these because you might have a problem like number two that asks you to draw and label triangle ABC with AB being five units, BC being seven units, and CA being 10 units. Because it says units, you can choose to use centimeters or inches. Because I am restricted to a paper, I'm probably going to use centimeters so it fits. First thing I want to check is will the triangle inequality theorem work? Triangle inequality theorem is A plus B is greater than C where C is the largest, which here would be 10. 5 plus 7, is that greater than 10? Well, it is. 12 is greater than 10. So we know we can make a triangle out of this. The question is how? So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one nice long line and then from that build my triangle. So from here, I'm going to measure 10 centimeters on it. So zero to 10, I'll label it AB because they want a triangle ABC. From here, um, what we need to do is draw five and seven from it. So first of all, just think about what five looks like here. So five goes from here to here. And if I had seven, it's obviously not going to reach. I'm sorry, I moved the paper too much. Seven's not gonna be able to reach there. So it's not gonna be a 90 degree angle. So that's why we like to use a pencil, especially for ones like this. So let's make our five, we make it like from here to here. So if that's five, let's see where our seven, can our seven reach it? Our seven still can't reach it. So I know I need to have an even smaller angle. So let's see if I went from here to here for five. Let's see if our seven will reach it. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna have an even smaller angle. And this is just how it goes when you're drawing this type of triangle. Let's see. Oh, it says AB is five units. This is CA. So let's change this B to a C. Okay. Um, this one's five. Let's try this. And maybe you got it on the first time. And if you did, congratulations. And seven. Ooh, I made it just a little too short. So maybe if I draw this seven in. Maybe I can change this one to meet it. Ooh, that's nice. Five centimeters. <clears throat> and we are labeling, this is B because AB is five centimeters. Perfect. So from here we, oh, forgot to label this, 10 centimeters. Probably want to label the angles as well. So I will line this up with zero. Probably need to extend out these lines so I can measure them more accurately. I know we took some extra time on this one, but rather do it right and take longer than do it wrong. Looks like this is, I start with my inside numbers, around 135 degrees. <clears throat> if I measure angle C, and notice I notice my angle C isn't exactly perfect where they intersect, but it's pretty close. So I'm gonna take it as a win. This one, 
going to be closer to 20 degrees. We're doing our best with the tools that we have. And this one looks like it's around 25 degrees. And we can check that. So if we had 135 plus 25 plus 20, that's 180, so that's pretty nice. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one gives us three angles and they add up to be 180 degrees, which is great. We know it's gonna be a triangle. So 40 plus 50 plus 90 is equal to 180. So that is good. And this triangle, there is going to be multiple triangles we can draw with this because we could increase the side lengths by the same scale factor and still have the same angles. So there's multiple triangles we can draw, but we just have to draw one of them. So I'm going to start with the first line and maybe I'll start with 90 degrees. So measure ABC is 90 degrees. So we'll have B, C, I need this to be 90 degrees. So I'm going to line that zero up, make two dots, one, two. And you're like, Mrs. Barr, couldn't you just eyeballed it and made it a 90 degree angle? Maybe I could, but this is as accurate as it can get. Make a right angle symbol in the middle there. And then BCA is going to be 50 degrees. So let's measure out 50 degrees over here. Measuring up with the zero, coming up to 50, which will be from here to here. Lining up the three points. So this is going to be A. Oops, 50 degrees. Now if we did this correctly, A, measure angle A or measure angle CAB should be 40 degrees. So let's check that. Lining up our zeros and oh, perfection, 40 degrees. So you can tell that when they give us angles, it's a little more accurate when we're drawing versus when we have to guess where our sides are. Okay, let's look at number four. Last one we have to do on this page with the protractor and let's see it says measure angle CAB is 60 degrees, CA is four units and BA is six units. So if I made a quick sketch of this and had CAB, A is 60 degrees, CA is four and BA is six. So I know this is an included angle, so there's only going to be one triangle. There's just going to be one triangle that can be drawn with this, a unique triangle where you could cut all of them out and they would be able to uh, rotate to be congruent. So I'm going to start with how I typically start, which is a nice, I'm going to hold this so I have a little more room. A nice line. Okay. And we'll start with, um, we'll use that angle. So I'll have CA, which is four. And I'm going to use my centimeters. You can use inches, but I'm just always afraid it's not going to fit. So four centimeters, CA. And I know angle A has got to be 60 degrees, so I'm going to line up my zero. And then we're going to go up to 60 degrees from here to here. Draw my line. 60 degrees. Oops, this is four centimeters. And A, B 
needs to be six centimeters. So I can line it up with the six and go to zero. So right here is going to be B, six centimeters. Oops, forgot my C. Connect the points there. And if I measure these other angles, C should be around 80 degrees. And if I measure CB, we should get a little bit more than five centimeters, right around five. Let's call it 5.1 centimeters, even though we don't have tenths on here. And if we measure angle B, it looks about 40 degrees. And if we check that, 80 plus 60 plus 40 is 180 degrees. So we feel confident that we measured correctly because if you got a number that did not add to be 180 degrees, then you know you did something wrong. And it's nice to be able to check your mistakes. Great job, mini mathematicians. You did awesome. Do your best. Be nice, everyone. Catch you next time.